Did you see my short today? <laughs> I'm just finishing up some hot cocoa because, yeah, we we got a, a pretty good snow out there. Um, so yeah, so if you missed if you missed the short, uh, check it out. <laughs> and good news, a lot of that cold weather is heading to you. So you're welcome <laughs> when it gets to you. <laughs> oh, I know I was reading, I was reading the comments as the, the 32nd was, was going and I saw Denise say good morning. And then I saw her go, oh, never mind. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right, Denise is on her way with the snowblower. Woohoo! <laughs> nope, nope, nope. You can't take it back, Jen. I'm sorry. It's a gift. It's a gift. You can't take it back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. It it is lovely blue sky out there and I think we're supposed to warm up into the 40s again. So it's not really going to hang around. Uh, my mom sent me a text that said that uh, there were there were a few accidents on the freeway this morning <laughs> because of the snow. It's like, yeah, I'll bet. Looks like it was like really big, puffy, um, um, yeah, flakes that were that were coming down. What? You didn't get any, Carol Lee? Oh, I'm so surprised. Usually, usually the way snow works in our area, because Carol Lee is south of me in Olympia, um, she's in kind of a, a little pocket where usually they get the bigger chunk of the snow. Um, even though I'm north of her, it's just the way the winds and the mountains and the snow and everything works um her area usually gets like twice as much snow as we do if there's gonna be snow it's gonna be down there it's gonna be a lot um so yeah that is really strange that we got it and they didn't um oh denise is gonna have snow tonight well again you're welcome <laughs> yeah this started here a couple of days ago it just didn't, it's like the first round, I don't think we had any rain um, in, in, the, in the clouds. So now the past two nights we've had, um, we've had weather, you know, with, with the rain. So that turned it to snow. It is uh, 31 degrees right now. It was 20, oh gosh, 29 or something. Um, so it, it's warming up fast today and it's already um coming off the the roof so if you when you see my short you'll see it kind of sticking to the roof but now that it's warming up it's it's uh it's coming down but at least i got it on a short so you guys when it's super super hot outside and you're like going oh you know what turn on one of my shorts Look at the snow. It'll cool you down. <laughs> It'll mentally, mentally cool you down. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and um, I'll put a reminder out there. Don't forget to, um, here, let me grab, there, that's the, is that the one? Yeah, that's the one for today. Um, so here is the link to, to my short so you can see how pretty the snow looks outside. It is really nice when it does stick to the trees and stuff the way that it did, um, especially since the trees don't have leaves on them yet. They're just kind of, you know, ugly twigs <laughs> right now. It is really pretty when the snow um, snow sticks to them. But don't forget to leave your comments. Um, on the lives, on the videos, on the shorts, go back through my previous shorts um, and um, 
leave your comments. Don't forget to, because um, we'll be doing drawings again on Friday. All right. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Well, this is my uh, one and only sale today. Uh, but Jen and I will be back for two sales tomorrow. Uh, so we'll be starting off at um, 11 a.m. on Jen's channel, 11 a.m. Eastern time on Jen's channel. And then we'll be doing the second sale. Hi, Joyce. Oh, yeah. Hi, Sarah Lee. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Carol Lee. Hi, Denise. Hi, Jen. Hi, oops, oops, come on, come on, chat, you can do it. And I saw Tracy, hello, Tracy. Hi, everybody. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing our second sale tomorrow at 4 p.m. on my channel. Both of them with Kim, both of them with Jen and myself. It's going to be a super fun day, double sale day. It's always a blast. You get a little break in between, get a couple things done around the house, have some lunch, take a nap, <laughs> and then we go back again. Oh, look, and there's Kim. Look at that. I Beetlejuiced Kim. How about that? <laughs> Hi, Kim. So, yes, Kim will be joining us tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. So, so looking forward to that. And it's always fun on Wednesdays. One of my one of my favorite days of the week because uh, of the double sale. Um, let's see. Yeah. So other than just kind of waiting for the snow to thaw, <laughs> I am going to be spending the majority of the day packing and invoicing, which is always a lot of fun. I've got, oh, I was going to say I've got both of the cats here, but Faye just took off. I guess Faye had other things to do. Joe's sitting here. Let me see if I can. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Angela. Yeah, you can't see him. You see that black right there? Yeah, that's Joe. <laughs> Faye was sitting on the green, the green one. But um, yeah, I don't know where she went. Faye, where'd you go? Faye. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't work the same as with dogs <laughs> when, you, when you call their name. Dogs usually come running and um, they're so excited when you call their name. Cats are like, yeah, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> so Faye is, Faye is off having an adventure. She probably realized that the sun is out which means her favorite spot upstairs, I have a, um, I actually have a sewing table, uh, but it's a great crafting table. It's, it's a really nice high table. It's wonderful. But I have it up against the windowsill with a chair by it. So the cats can get up on the chair, get up on the table, and she loves it when the sun starts coming in because it it uh, warms that all up and they can sit there. And I have a towel on, on, on top of it to protect the surface. And so, yeah, yesterday I noticed I went upstairs and, and there she is. She's just like, you know, in the sunshine, <laughs> having, having a really, really good one. <laughs> Oh, you just got a new litter box. How exciting. Um, yeah, I had to get um, I had to get a different construction of litter box. Um, and it's um, it's by Mod, the company MOD Mod. And it's a one piece unit that has really tall sides and then just the top part, you can, it's like um, in two pieces, so you can fold it back or you can fold it back the second time and get access to the whole top. But the, there's no seam on the sides, which is, is what I needed. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so they've got, uh, they've got two of them now uh, for the two of them. Um, and um, yeah, it, 
it, and it is a bigger one. And yeah, I really, really like the bigger uh, litter boxes. Um, yeah, I find that the cats can move around a whole lot easier. And um, and it makes it when they scoop, you know, to, to cover, it, it really makes a big difference having more space and actually having a little more litter in there. So, um, so yeah, so Sharon, I'm so glad that's working out for you. I definitely think the bigger the litter box, the better. Even if you have just a solo cat, um, I think it's worth the investment into the bigger litter box. I think they really do enjoy it a lot more. Um, hi, Laura. You use a huge packing tub. What is a packing tub? What am I missing? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a packing packing tub. Is. Oh, a storage like a like a rubber made tub. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, yes. And and that does that does work until they get to be a little more senior and they can't quite do that big jump. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I've seen the ones where the, like, um, they're tall like that, where like the, they have an opening at the top, but yeah, yeah, because dogs, dogs and cat litter, not a good combination, um, to a lot of dogs, that's like candy. <laughs> that that's not good. It is not good. So yeah, if you got dogs in the house, you do have to have litter boxes that are not accessible to the dogs. I I hear you on that one. <laughs> Hello, Holland. <laughs> you have a ton of tubs. <laughs> Oh, and I hope, I hope you are getting um, more tubs emptied. Um, yeah, yeah, I know that's, that, that's a, it's a big job. It really is a big, big job. Um, and, oh, you had a dog that had kidney issues. Yes. Yep. Yep. You got to watch out for that. Yeah, I I don't know what goes on inside a dog's brain, but <laughs> woo! Look at Denise go! Yay! That's awesome, Denise. Woohoo! Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now that that hot cocoa is making my nose run. All right, we'll get that cleared out, and we'll get started with the sale. So today I have got, yeah, I've got a bunch of randomness, um, but, but it's, it's fun, creative, interesting randomness. I was having fun last night getting it together. <laughs> um, all right, but I am going to start with. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with, yeah, free. I'm going to start with free. Who doesn't like free? Um, all right. So this little box, it's one of those little lacquered boxes from India. It's got some paint loss to it. So I'm going to do it around so you can see there's some paint loss on the side. Up on top, there's a little paint loss. <coughs> oh, goodness. Now I started things. Um, so let's just put in number one. Number one, if anyone would like this little box. Yep, it's got paint loss. But you know what? If you got a box going, you just have to pay for the shipping on it. Um, which, again, if you got a box going, it's not going to be much. Thank you, Denise. Um, but one dollar or one, number one, if you want this one for free. And I see Carol Lee in first for that one. Thank you, Carol Lee. All right. 
I have got another item. We're going to do this one for free. It's one of these super cute little bobblehead turtles. They are adorable, but this little guy, yeah, he's got a broken here and I think a little broken here. So he's partially broken, but you know what? His little bobblehead still works. It still bobs back and forth. He is really cute. And uh, let's put in number two. Number two. If you would like the bobblehead turtle with the two bits right here broken. And oh, Denise has got a new computer coming. Woohoo! You know, that is a really long life for a laptop, I, I will say. And Denise is going to take number two. Thank you, Denise. Yeah, I do still have a working laptop. Um, I don't use it very often, um, but I will, oops, I will use it from time to time. If I, if I still need my laptop down here to do stuff and I don't feel like bringing it up and down, I've got a laptop that runs on Vista. Who remembers Vista? <laughs> it was very short lived. But somehow I I got this computer at the time when Vista was out. And um, I think that was probably, what, 14, 15 years ago. Um, yeah, but the laptop still runs. So, you know... Um, so I, I still go with it. Now I do still have my laptop that Best Buy screwed up, blanked it out, totally eliminated it. It, it was a computer that was just a couple years old, but it was running sluggish. And I thought, oh, it's under contract still with Best Buy. I'll take it to them and they can, you know, get it all going again. Well, the guy who worked on it erased everything and then went, oh, I can't put it back together. So here's your, your blank computer. No operating system, nothing. I'm like, great, thank you. So I need to find a way or find someone who can um, like, like maybe copy this one onto it or something. Um, that's what I'm hoping. Um, it's probably, let's see now, I'm going to say it's probably five years old, five. No, it was probably, no, it was in 2020. It was probably three or four years old. So it's probably about seven years old. Um, but it's, it, it was a really good computer. Um, and I'm sure it will still run really well. I would just really like to have an upstairs and a downstairs computer so I didn't have to keep running this one, you know, up and down. Um, so, yeah, it, it still has a lot of life to it. Look on TaskRabbit. What is TaskRabbit, Apple? And hello, Apple. Nice to see you. And hi, Rose. And if I didn't say hello to you, hello and welcome. All right, we are going to get started on the $1 item. I'm going to write down Task Rabbit. And and something that doesn't necessarily require me to run on Vista. <laughs> hey, it still works. It's still good. Um Oh, they didn't put it back to factory reset. And hi, Mia, they, they blanked it out. They erased everything, everything on it. Everything is gone. There's no operating system. There's no nothing. And then they handed it back to me and went, yeah, 
that your warranty that you have on it is not for this stuff. So thank you, Best Buy. You stink. Um, so up first for $1, I have a ceramic lamb. Would be nice to add to a little nativity set. It is made in China, but that just means it's made in the past 40 years. And thank you, Rose. I see you for a dollar. But yeah, it is the size that you would put into a nativity. Um, so yeah, so I think if if you've got one and you need one, or of course, lamb for Easter, let's not forget that. Um, but I do see Rose in for the lamb. So we are gonna count that down. So going once, going twice. Let me get my sold in here. Oops. Nope. That's my link. All right. Well, I'll share Since I got the link in here, we'll share it again. Um, if you missed my short this morning, there is the link to my short. And um, it snowed here. So I did a short. So everybody can enjoy the snow. And sold to Rose. Thank you, Rose. All right, next up for a dollar, I have a glass heart. Now, the thing with this heart is that the top is not flush. It's like maybe they were learning how to add things to glass. And so you can see there are some indents for where they added their little extras, but it still is a super cute little heart with little flowers, a little bit of greenery. They tried to put in some stems for the flowers. It's really cute. Nice for a little springtime display. And you can see the flowers. There's like a little blue one, pink, white, yellow. Thank you, Carolee. And we will count that down for Carolee. Oh, we've got Sharon coming in. Hi, Sharon. So Sharon is in for two. Ooh, let me get a little quick measurement on this. It is about one and three quarter inches. Yep, by one and three quarter inches. So almost two by two. And hi, Gina. And thank you, Carol Lee. So we are going to count that down for Sharon. Going once, going twice. And there it is, sold to Sharon. Um, all right, next up for a dollar. I've got a little key ring that has a cute little blue plane on it. I'm gonna say some kind of a plastic plane. Now it looks like it does something because it's got, you know, this down here, maybe, uh, maybe it makes a little roaring engine sound. I don't know how you would activate it. Oh, maybe, oh, oh, oh. Wait, I just saw, there we go. Just did it. So it lights up. I guess it's coming in for a landing. Yeah, it kind of makes a sound. So it's still going. <laughs> you know, how, how do these toys work? <laughs> it's still going. How about that? And we've got Sharon in for a dollar. Oh, there we go. It's done. <laughs> I won't push it again. That lasted for a long time. <laughs> All right. So Sharon is in for a dollar. And we are going to count that down. Going once. Going twice. 
<laughs> and sold to Sharon. <laughs> Oh, I know you, you kind of have to hold it close to hear it. It's not very loud, which is probably a really good thing that it's not too loud. Uh, all right. Next up, I have got, I don't know what. It's a bee. It's metal. It's got a little flower. The flower has two little pokey things. Hi, Kathy. Coming out. And so you mount it on something, and then you've got this cute little bee. But I don't know what it went to. No idea. But it is cute. It's metal. You could probably put that in a plant and just have it sit there in a plant. That would be really cute. And, oh, thanks for stopping in, Mia. It's nice to see you. And Carol Lee is in for one. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. And we are going to count that down for Carol Lee. So going once, going twice. There it is, and sold to Carol Lee. There's a little bit of a of a lag with StreamYard today. Interesting. Okay, next up for a dollar, I have a fan. Now it is, oh, there we go, this way. It's a really pretty fan, but it does have a little bit of a raw edge to it. So it's kind of like somebody just like they just cut it and put it on the fan and um, didn't really put anything on there to keep the stray um, the stray threads. Oops, I'll, here, I'll show you the front of it. There we go. So you might be able to see it's got a little bit of a raw edge to it. It is plastic and fabric. But just nice for a hot summer day. It's got a little tassel, little metal down here. So $1 for the fan. And I'll show you the fabric. It's got a little bit of gold on it. All right. Now, I didn't see anybody, I don't think. Let me see. Oh, there's the sold. All right. So we are going to bring the fan back for the speed round. Oh, nope. Rose is going to take the fan. Thank you, Rose. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Rose. I can imagine if you live in one of the hotter climates, it's good to have one of those around a fan. like everywhere. Um, all right, next up, this is plastic. It is a black cat. A plastic black cat. It is a pretty good size. I'll get my little measure out here. Uh, it's about three and a half inches long. And let's see, with the tail about three and a half inches tall, it does have some detail. So it's got a face. I know, exactly. You are going to want this come Halloween. You are totally going to want this for Halloween. And yeah, it could be a really cool ring holder. Exactly. And so we've got, oh, I do think, yeah, uh, Rose, I think, came in at a dollar and Sharon is at two. And thank you, Rose. And we will count that down for Sharon. Going once, going twice. 
and sold to Sharon. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Patrick, it, it pretty much is Joe, isn't it? <laughs> Good one. Okay, next one. Also going to start at a dollar. All right, we've got a little purple box. So something probably made out of resin. It's got a lot of bling on top. Open it up. I don't know, just a cute little trinket dish. But, you know, if you like purple, you like stars, you like bling. And Carol Lee is in for a dollar. Thank you, Carol Lee. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Okay, I've got another key ring. I'm not 100% sure. It kind of looks a bit like an Allen wrench. I'm not sure what this is for, but I think it's some kind of a tool key ring. Again, you've got like two different sides here for an Allen wrench. You've got not quite a bottle opener, but, <laughs> but it might be. And then this, I don't know, something. Um, but the key ring, like a mini tool key ring, that one is going to be a dollar. So something to have handy. Might be handy if you put together a lot of Ikea furniture. <laughs> Those always come with the Allen wrenches. Yes, I put together a few of those. All right. So I don't see any takers for the key ring. Oh, we'll bring that back for the speed round. Um, okay. Next up. Um, don't know. But we'll see if somebody can get creative and think of something. So this, it's, it's a ceramic dish. It's got a glaze on it. And then it's almost got like a little bit of resin or something in here. It's like it's got an additional little glaze on there to give it a little bit of an effect. Now, what you could use this for. I don't know. Maybe a little candle holder. Maybe you have a small potted plant. Not sure. But Carol Lee's going to find a use for it. Thank you, Carol Lee. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And... Sold to Carol Lee. Hi, Lemmy. It's, you know, if you had a bottle, maybe. It's not very wide. But but I like the way you're thinking. Yeah, it would need to be something a little, a little skinnier. Now, this is something, again, a little skinny. Could work as a coaster, possibly. Uh, this is a little souvenir piece from the beautiful Cypress Gardens of Florida. You can see it's got really nice detailing. If the style of this kind of looks familiar, well, that is because this is Old English Staffordshire, and it is made in England, and it is imported exclusively for the Cypress Garden Shop in Winter Haven, Florida. Look at that. Adams Potteries, established in 1657. Holy cow. 
So beautiful plate, little dish. And Sharon is in for a dollar. Thank you, Sharon. And we'll count that down. Going once, going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, next one. We're not going to get overly excited about this, but again, if this fits in with your home decor style and you have a use for it, cool. I think this is designed to be a candle holder. It is glass. So it's glass with a picture of some white stones, it looks like. It's from Target. It does have a sticker on the back and it does give, you know, it says a glass plate, four by four inch. And then there's like fire safety warning. So I believe it's made to be a candle holder. It's from 2007 Target, almost vintage Target. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> so four by four inch glass with white stones. Again, might fit in with someone's home decor, but we'll let you think about that one. It is um, where the sides are turned up a bit. So if you did have a little pillar candle burning on here or maybe a little tea light, if any wax gets out of it, it's not going to roll off because the sides do come up. And, and Carol Lee is going to take that one. Thank you, Carol Lee. And we'll count that down. Going once, going twice, and sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Okay, if, if you're like me and you can't keep house plants uh, because the cats will destroy them, here is a faux plant in a cute little container. I'll show you the top. You never have to water it. It's always nice and green. You just have to dust it or rinse it <laughs> to clean it. But that one is a dollar. And let's see, let's get your height on it. It's about three inches tall and two inches wide. I'll hold it back here so you get an idea. And I've got I've got Holland in first for a dollar. And Poppy is out. Thank you, Poppy. And we will count that down for Holland. And I have to I have to keep remembering to write down because I I know you better. I know you up in my head as Heaven Bound Farm. So I have to remember to write that or I'll lose you. Um, all right, going once, going twice. And sold to Holland. Thank you. All right, I've got one more faux plant. Oops. It is going to start at $1. And this one is in a cute little container. This is made out of some kind of a resin. It's got some nice little sprigs coming out of it. Here is the bottom. This one is, it's a little taller, uh, about four and a half inches taller, taller, about four and a half inches. And it's about two inches wide. And we've got Sharon in for a dollar. And we are going to count that down. So going once going twice and sold to Sharon. 
Thank you. All right. That one was the last $1 item, and we are going to go up to $2. Hello, Mary Beth. All right, so I'll get the $2 start in here. <coughs> okay, up first at $2 is an orange piece of glass. It's got a really cool design on it. Kind of looks like an eye. I can tell. So this is this is how good Becky from Vintage Viking Treasures teaches people i can see even though it looks like it is orange if you look closer you can see oops a little bit of white or clear in there so this was actually clear glass and they rolled it in orange frit yep that viking chick she teaches you well yeah, so you can see the little speckles of orange in here. It's really cool. And thank you, Carol Lee. It is a fun piece. Be nice to put this in something and have it be a little sun catcher. Really cool. And we are going to count that down for Carol Lee. So going once, going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Um, all right. Next for $2, I have a glass vase. You can see it does have a little indent here for you to use as a vase. And then here, this is like some little etching and painted to have these little like sprigs. It is uh, three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. It is a really cool piece of glass. And if you're feeling really fancy, you could use it as a pen holder. Maybe you have a really cool special pen, you know, a very designer pen, you wanna display it. There you go. It'll work. I wonder if they used that to um, <laughs> to make the indent. <laughs> they used a pen because it fits in there really well. <laughs> and we will count that down for Jamie. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Jamie. Thank you. Okay, next up, I've got one of these little girls. I want to say Guatemalan, but I'm not 100% sure. I know it's somewhere of Central or South America. I just can never remember where they come from. And she doesn't have any kind of identification on her, but she is so cute. Look at this. I know my hands are covering it, but she's got little sandals on. Isn't she just adorable? And and she's got little undergarments. Yep. She's got a little bit of an undergarment on her dress. And Denise is in for two. really detailed face for how small she is. And she does come with a little string so you can hang her. And there is her back. They did a really nice job on her, but I just love her little sandals. They are so cute. Uh, we are going to count that down for Denise. Going once, going twice and sold to Denise. Thank you. 
All right. Next up is another cute little dish. It says shine bright on the inside. This is by Laura Ashley. It's from 2018. I love Laura Ashley, especially back in like the 90s. Oh my gosh. I did love Laura Ashley. So a cute little dish. You can display it any way you want to. But it's nice little trinket dish to catch things. And Carol Lee is in. Thank you, Carol Lee. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Okay, I've got another little trinket dish. This one is a nice oval shape. And it has a beautiful hand-painted blue flower on the inside. Now this one's, it's a little longer. Could even be a little spoon rest in your kitchen. Uh, it is four inches long and a little over two inches wide. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon is in for two. But yeah, it's just a nice size. But I thought, oh, yeah, if you've got a, a blue kitchen, that could be really cute as a little spoon rest. Nice in the bathroom, just a little catch all. And we will count that down for Sharon. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you. Um, oh, okay. Next up, this is really cute. It's one of these little wind chimes. And it is the flower shop. So it's got some really cute little flowers on the outside. Little chair to sit in made out of resin. It is from 1997. And just a cute little wind chime. You can hang that outside off of a plant. It'll just make a nice, you can hardly hear it. Just a nice little sound. And Poppy is in for that one. Thank you, Poppy. <coughs> and we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Poppy. Thank you, Poppy. Uh, let's see. All right. This one's a little different. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Joe. Hi. What you doing? Being a troublemaker? A little bit. A little bit of a troublemaker. I know he slept. He slept through and did not get his second breakfast today. Now he has to wait till after the sale. But he does have snacks, so he's good. Um, I've got a gold spoon. Kind of, kind of a spoon that could fit if you have like a cream and sugar set. It could fit in that. Maybe a jam jar you don't have a spoon for. It could fit there. It is marked a stainless steel Japan on the back. So I have a feeling it probably came from a set. Um, but if you want to measure to see if, if it'll fit into your set, let's see. The spoon is about four and a half inches long. Let's see. The handle part, though, is about three and a half inches. So if you want to see if something about three and a half inches fits in your uh, jam jar, your sugar jar, 
Uh, let's see where it would fit with the lid. It's probably half an inch wide. So right about here's probably where it would fit maybe with a lid. So half an inch or maybe even less. So $2 stainless steel, Japan. And hi, Rebecca. Thank you. But yeah, I imagine this came from a sugar set, a jam jar, um, something like that. Oh, my nose is so itchy today. It must be the, the snow made my nose itch. I need to put some lotion on there. Hello, Joe. Yes, I know. It's so nice of you to come and say hello. And we are going to count that down for Rebecca. So going once, going twice, and sold to Rebecca. Thank you. All right. This, this is a little weird, but sometimes weird is fun. And it, it allows you to be creative and, and think of where you can use. This is a square. Somebody put this together. They started with this fabric. You can see they sewed all the pieces on and ended up with this. So not quite a quilter square, but kind of a little piece of art. And with that, you're going to get this because it kind of goes with it. I don't know. Somebody was feeling very inspired and they created this little piece of art with some little leftover doodads that they had. So something you could, you know, frame, put out as a fun little piece of art. And hello, Lucinda. Hi, Anne Marie. And Carol is in for Carol Lee is in for two. So yes, just people being creative and doing things, you know, because you just feel inspired. And then you end up with something really fun like this. So it's going to be a two piece set. You're going to get both of them. And we will count that down for Carol Lee. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Okay, this is a, somehow, I think this is a card. Or it's a gift for someone. So it's from Japan. It comes in a plastic sleeve. It has an envelope. It does say made in Japan. It comes from a store here um, in our area called Wajimaya. And it is, I don't know what JFU Castle is, but it does look like a castle. It is a fan. And it comes with this little sheet here. It says some kind of a fan for a greeting card. Oh, made in Kyoto, Japan. And then this is the castle that is depicted on the fan. You can see there's little cherry blossoms down there. So definitely a fan that you can use. Or you can give it as a gift because it's got an envelope to put it in and give as a gift. So that one is $2. Here, let me get in here. There we go. Try to try to get it so it's upright. It is very silvery, very reflective with the silver. And again, it comes with the envelope. Thank you, Happy Maker, and hello there. So yes, it was, who knows when, when this was purchased, but it was $6.75, and that is U.S. And we are going to count that down for Happy Maker. Going once. Going twice. 
and sold to Happy Maker. Thank you. Um, okay. This is a little bag of those little colored decorative glass balls. I did not count how many were in here. So let's go ahead and count and I'll show you. I'll try to do it maybe by color. Oh, well here, I'll start with some of these odd shaped ones. So there's a little green one with a flat bottom, a little blue one with a flat bottom, and then a tiny blue one with a flat bottom. So that's three. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 of them. So there's 21 total. I've got four that are clear. So there's four that are clear. Um, one that is light blue. One, two, three, four that are aqua blue. One that is green. One that is silver. Three that are amber. And then four that are dark blue. So 21 total in here. Various colors. So 21 of them. And that is $2 for all of them. And Sharon is going to take those. Thank you, Sharon. And we are going to count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you. Okay. This one's a little harder to show. But I have a nest. Let me get the pieces back in here. I have a nest and I have five eggs. Three of them are brown, two of them are white. And this is made out of some kind of, it's kind of delicate. They're very thin. They're not real eggs. They do have a seam on them, but they're very delicate plastic. Um, those, no, none of those glow. Um, but I do, I do have one, one thing that glows coming up. So there are five of them total, three brown, two white, and the little nest. Let's see if I can get it all back in here. There we go. <laughs> and, and Carol Lee is in for two. Thank you, Carol Lee. And we are going to count that down. Going once, going twice, and sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. All right, we are going up to $3. And up first for three are a set. Come on, mouse. There we go. A set of three measuring spoons. I have a, oops, turn it this way. I have a one teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. I don't know if there was a tablespoon. I don't have it. Each one on the top has grapes, cheese, and a little mouse. And you can see his little tail forms a loop. So you can hang these. I'll show you the design on the back. So you can see the, clearly you can see the design on the back. Then each one has a different picture. 
on the inside, usually dealing with grapes and cheese. There's that one and then that one. That one you get the cheese board, the cheese and the grapes. This one I think you just get cheese and grapes. And you can see the design on the outside also. Oh, well, thank you, Joe. Joe just brought his toy downstairs. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. This is, this is one of his favorite toys right now. Yeah. And yeah, he just, he carries it like a dog. He just brought it from upstairs all the way downstairs, dropped it right here for me. <laughs> Good job, Joe. <laughs> so yes, cats do carry toys in their mouth. All right. So I don't see any takers for the measuring spoons. Oh, Mary Ellen. Hi, Mary Ellen. And thank you. Well, we will count that down for Mary Ellen. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Mary Ellen. Thank you. Hi, Joe. Hi. Yeah, hi, buddy. How you doing? I know. Did you have a snack? All right, I've got another fan. This one's going to be for $3. It is this beautiful blue and white, white plastic, a little uh, light blue tassel. And then this one, look how pretty this one is with all the little sequin flowers. This one is so nice. <laughs> I know, Joe is quite the ham. <laughs> And luckily, he's having a little snack right now. So a really pretty fan. And look at that with all the little sequin sparkles on it. So that one is $3. All right. We will bring that one back for the speed round. And oh. All right, this is this is going to bring back a lot of memories for people, but look at this. It is a giant ET button pin, or I guess you could use it as like a, a little stand here and just display it, but who's got great memories of watching ET? Oh my goodness. So isn't that great? <laughs> it is, it's six inches across. This thing is huge. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> wearing that pin? <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm so glad they put a stand back there so you could display it. I know, wasn't Drew Barrymore just the cutest in that one? She was great. So yeah, so six inch ET button. But yeah, I didn't, oops, I didn't even know they made buttons this big. <laughs> oh, so that one is $3. But we'll let you think about that one. We'll bring it back for the speed round. All right, Joe. Go get your toy. There you go. Um, all right. The next, oh, Patrick's going to take E.T. Does it have a year on it? No, it doesn't. It does not have a year. Nothing on the sides. No, no year on it. Um, but we will count that down for Patrick. I know everybody, I think everybody remembers the first time they saw E.T. And going once, uh, going twice. Oh, and the fan. All right. Thank you, Patrick. And sold to Patrick. So Patrick is getting the ET button and the fan. Thank you, Patrick.
All right. Now this next item kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. So <laughs> I'll tell you that right up front. There are two marbles. One has a beetle in it, and the other one has a baby scorpion in it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But they are there. And oh my gosh. So we've got, oh, hang on. Oh, we got Apple jumping in. Apple jumping in at six. So yes, you're going to get the pair. You're going to get the pair of them. I'm going to make you take them both. <laughs> and we've got Holland at seven. <laughs> um, they're very well done. Oh, okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to do my best not to give myself the, ugh. but here's, here's the beetle. So they did a great job. They did, they did a really good job keeping everything intact. Thank you, Carol Lee. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mary Ellen. So there is the beetle. Yeeks, it looks so big. All right. And then there is the baby scorpion in the other And oh, Apple is out. Thank you, Apple. And let me show it from this side. Yeah, scary, scary. <laughs> yeah, they are real bugs. The beetle glows. All right. I don't think I checked. I don't think I checked on the beetle. Let me see. Well, because because they're in resin, they both actually kind of glow. Um, but yeah. All right. So we've got Holland at at ten. Oh, on your bracelet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think if you if you concentrated the light you could probably take you know your eyes could adjust and take out the glow from the resin and just focus on the other one yet yeah, thank goodness there was not a spider i don't know if i could have gotten it in the bag i don't know if i could have all right we're going to count that down for holland going once Going twice. And sold to Holland. So thank you, Carol Lee and Mary Ellen and Apple and Holland. Thank you. Okay, next up. Uh, going back to the $3 start, we have got a lovely miniature peacock vase. So here is one of the peacocks. And this one, you can see the pretty plume. There is another peacock back here. We've got some lovely peonies and chrysanthemums. And oh, it looks like maybe a little iris down there. Beautiful flowers. It is unmarked, most likely made in Japan. Probably had one of those little blue oval stickers on it. And thank you, Sharon. Yeah, this one's very colorful. Really nicely done for as small as it is. It is so detailed. And we are going to count that down for Sharon. Going once. Going twice. 
and sold to Sharon. Thank you. Okay, next up is a little button doll. Now she is fabric and cloth with a little wooden head. She's got two cute little pigtails. She's got her little dress and there's all of her little buttons. Then she's got little pants on and little buttons down here and her cute little feet. So she's definitely made to be a little shelf sitter. Really cute little doll. So her body is a wood block. So she does sit very well right here. She's got the little block. So yeah, so she rests very nicely right there. Thank you, Carol Lee. But she's so cute with her little pastel buttons. And oh, she's got a button right up on top also. And we will count that down for Carol Lee. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Okay, I've got a, another little button doll, but this time she's wooden. So look at that. She's got little buttons for her little rosy cheeks. She's got little pigtails. Her arms are movable, and she's got little buttons and like a little spool of thread. She's got little button feet and she's got a little mark on the back here. 1992 Tender Heart. So fun display in a sewing room, in a crafting room. And she's got little pigtails. And then again, her arms do move. And then she's got little button feet too. So she is $3 for the little button doll. All right, we will bring her back for the speed round. Uh, next up for $3, I have this little resin. We've got a lovely little uh, flower pot full of flowers. We have a little cat sitting down. We've got a little bird in the flowers. And, oh, you want to come back up here? All right. Here, hang on. There we go. All right. Joe's coming for another visit. And we've got a little flower pot here. <laughs> This is Westland, made in China. And I'll get in so you can see the cat. Cute little flowers. I know, do you like that one, Joe? And there's a little close-up of the bird. And the flowers looking to be in great shape with all the little flower petals. And that one is about three inches tall. Oh, it's Joe approved. <laughs> you like that kitty, don't you? Don't you? You like that kitty. <laughs> All right. Well, we will bring that one back for the speed round. And oh, Carol Lee is going to take that one. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I know you heard cat. What? What? Cat? I know the neighbor's cat usually comes around and does little loops outside. My neighbor's got one of those big Maine Coon cats. Um, and he he pretty much lives outside. Um, and, oh, we're going to count that down for Carol. Oh, Carol Lee and Sharon came in. Sorry. Um, I do see Carol Lee came in first. 
And uh, yeah, so the, the neighbor's cat usually does loops around the outside, checking everything out. And um, he, he, he doesn't get too close to the glass. I think he's a little afraid of Faye. Um, Faye is like the defender of the house. And, um, and she will get like up on all fours with her paws to the glass. <laughs> so even the neighbor's big cat is like, I'm going to stay away from Faye. But I haven't noticed now with the snow, I, I have not seen that cat do a loop. Thank you, Sharon. And we are going to count that down for Carol Lee going once, going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. I know Faye is so funny. There's a, a little gray cat that comes around every once in a while. And and Faye, Faye will like talk and talk and talk. <laughs> but I think she's letting them know, this is my house. You can come visit. You can't stay. This is my house. <laughs> All right. Next up. I have got, um, I actually have two bags. So we're going to do, we're going to put choice in here. So $5 choice. Yes, $5 choice. And I have two bags of seashells. Now there are about 41 seashells in each bag. So I'm going to say 40 plus seashells. There kind of the same style of shell, even though there are some slightly different colors. So again, there's about 40 of them in this bag. They are on the smaller side. I'll hold it back here so you can see smaller. Great for crafting. They're a really good craft size. Some of them are a little browner, some a little grayer, some with a little bit of cream. But your choice on if you would like one bag, if you would like both bags, I'll show them around. Some of them are itty bitties. Like here's, here's one that's really small. So there's some super small ones into ones like here. This one's probably one of the larger ones. And you can see it's not all that big. It's just big enough. And we've got Carol Lee in. Thank you, Carol Lee. And oh, Carol Lee would like both of them. All right. So we will count that down for Carol Lee. So going once, going twice, and sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. All right, next up for a, oops, for a $5 start, I have a bag of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 marbles plus the two, oh, I can never remember their names, the two bigger ones. So there's a total of 14 marbles in here, 12 small, two big. And let me get my black light because let me find which ones they are. Oops. Where'd you go? That one and that one. All right. So let me find the two that glow. So, oops, don't, don't roll out. All right. So you might be able to tell, you might not be able to tell, but this one glows and this one glows. Why can you not? That's just blasting it out. But those are the two that glow and I'll show them to you up close. So it's the big one here. It's got green and then this one, which is blue, but it does glow. So there's those two. Then 
The other big one here is kind of a white with the swirl. And then the other ones you're going to get, let's see, we've got this pretty purple. Joe, for goodness sake, give me a minute, buddy. Go have another snack. Oops. Oops. Ha, got it. This one is purple. Then we've got blue. Got this pretty yellow one. Thank you, Sharon. Another purple. We've got the tri-colored one with the primary colors. That one. This one is green. And this one is also green. And there's another light blue one and this red one. Joe, go sit down. <laughs> so there are the 14 marbles. For goodness sake. Not now. <laughs> Here. All right, and we are going to count that down for Sharon. Going once, going twice, and <laughs> sold to Sharon. What do you think? Oh, now you're not interested. Well, fine. Be that way. <laughs> All right, so I have another one of these very interesting pieces of fabric. Um, this one is really, really neat. So here is the fabric. So it starts off with like a felt black, and then it has all of these fused pieces in it. It has like a little button up here and a little button down here. And you're going to get this really cool piece. I don't even know what this is. It's like a button. It's like one of the coolest buttons I've ever seen. But I, I think the piece of fabric is really neat. And so you get little rhinestones across the top. Oh, one is missing. One little rhinestone is missing. You get a, this band of like pearl beads. This piece is a separate piece, but it is attached. And then you get rhinestones along the bottom there. But isn't that just the neatest piece, like a button from the way that it's, you know, attached on? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just, it's super cool. And we've got Carol Lee in. Um, plus, it's a really neat piece of fabric to, again, you could frame that and just display it as like a little piece of art. It's so bright and colorful and cool. And we will count that down for Carol Lee. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Uh, next is a pair of spoons. I don't know anything about these spoons. They have no marking on them whatsoever. But you're going to get the pair of them for $5. I'll show you the top. It has like a little beaded plume. Yeah, I think it is Carol, or I think it is Lucinda. It is really well done. And then the design is like a little beaded diamond. 
you can see that there are little beads around each of the diamonds. But they are smaller spoons, smaller decorative spoons. So you're going to get the pair of those $5. And Carol Lee is in. Thank you, Carol Lee. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. Uh, next, this is something a little different. This has not been tested. So I do not know if this works. Um, it is a birdie personal alarm. It does have all the parts in it. And so, yeah, so this is something designed. Yep, so women can keep it with them. And it's still in its original little packaging here. But this is the alarm. It is supposed to be one of those super, super loud alarms. So... No, I have not tested it to see if it works. But this is apparently the key ring that comes with it. So you can keep it handy. So I don't know if it needs a, um, you know, a refresh battery or not. But that is the Birdie personal alarm. Um, super, super loud. And that one is $5. There. And it comes in the original box, in the original packaging. So there you go. That's $5. And we'll bring that back for the speed round. All right, next up for $5, I have three blue and white vases. So three different designs. Well, three different shapes. Same design, three different shapes. There we go. They are made in China. But nice if you have blue and white kitchen, blue and white um, bathroom. Very nice for using for display. They're almost four inches tall. And if you have a little knickknack shelf, they're going to look really cute. You have an instant display. Instant collection there. So there are three of them for $5. All right, we are going to go up to, oh, Carol Lee is going to take those. Thank you, Carol Lee. And we're going to count that down. Going once, going twice. And sold to Carol Lee. Thank you. All right. We're going to go up to $7. And I have a pair of snuff bottles. Now, this one is a newer one. It does have a Made in China sticker. So it is a reproduction. It is. I think it is ceramic still. No, maybe it's resin. Um, but it is a really cool dragon. So yeah, this one is, I think this one might be resin. 
or plastic? No, that's still pretty hard. No, that was me, Joe. That was me. He's looking at the door. Somebody there? <laughs> I think this might be ceramic, but it's got a really cool dragon on it. And um, then you're going to get this one, which is a double bottle. So they do have these little tops on them when they are little snuff bottles. This one, I'm not sure how old it is. I'm not sure of the age, but you're going to get both of them for $7. The two snuff bottles. So this one with the dragon on it. And then this one is the double. So they are the little snuff bottles. This one, I'm not, I'm just not sure how old it is. If it is a, you know, if it's an original or if it is a reproduction, it does look like it's got some wear on the top of it. This one for sure is a reproduction. All right. So $7 for those. Uh, then I have a, <laughs> so I have four of these little bottles. You're going to get these and they do have labels on them. So bamboo coral, garnet. Oh, I've got five of them. Garnet, aventurine, tiger eye, and rose quartz. Now, Two of them don't have corks. Three of them do, although that one's not a cork that really fits. I've got a scoop so that you can scoop stuff inside. And I've got the baggie that contains the stuff that was inside them. <laughs> but I'm not going to re-separate it out. I'm going to leave that for the new owner of this, but you are going to get all of the chips. So all of the stone chips that came in the bottle. So it is a really good sized baggie. And again, there is a Venturine and you're going to get the bottles also. Bamboo coral. Garnet, Tiger Eye, and Rose Quartz. So you're going to get all five bottles, the scoop, and the stones. That is a really good deal for $7 because there is a lot. There is a lot of stone in here. If I lay it, if I lay it flat, or try to flatten it out, you can see there is a lot in here. So you get all of that for $7. And the glass, these are glass bottles and all five glass bottles and the scoop. So that is a steal of a deal. All right. Then. I'm going to show you both of these, all right? And then you kind of get to, to, we'll do one and then we'll do the other. So I have these lovely amethyst geodes. So you can see they are right from the slice of stone. Now, one of them has a frog attached and the other one does not. So we are going to start with the one that does not have the frog. And that one is going to be $7. So $7 for the amethyst. And this one measures 
two inches by two inches by about an inch and a half. So beautiful amethyst, but that is straight from the geode. So you can leave it like this. You can display it. You can take pieces out of it and create jewelry or other pieces with it. And Denise is in for seven. Thank you, Denise. But yeah, that is right from the stone. Hi, spirit junkie. All right, so I'll hold it back here. Look how sparkly that is. Oh, that is so pretty. And we will count that down for Denise. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Denise. Thank you. All right. Then we will do the one that has the frog attached to it. I'm going to say that's a pewter frog. And this piece is two inches, not two by two by about, about a half an inch, I guess. So that one is also going to be seven dollars. And you get that lovely piece. And yep, it's got a frog on it. And Rose is in for that one. Thank you, Rose. And <laughs> Denise is showering and shopping. <laughs> and yeah, it's like, don't you wonder when you're like, how many times have you walked past something like that and not even given it a second thought, right? And look what's inside. And Denise is <laughs> at eight. I know, don't slip. Don't slip and fall. But I just, I love all the colors. Oh my gosh, the colors are so pretty. It's just a little amazing piece. And then the frog is fun. It's fun that somebody added the frog on top of that one. Makes it more fun for displaying. And Rose is at nine. And he is a really cute little frog. And Denise is at 10. And Rose is out. Thank you, Rose. And we will count that down for Denise. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Denise. Thank you. All right, so that is the last item of the sale. So we are going to do the speed round. And, um, and just a reminder, uh, Jen and I will be doing our double sale on Wednesday. We start at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Kim from Oh My Vintage is going to be our guest for both sales. So it is um, 11 a.m. Eastern on Jen's channel and then 4 p.m. Eastern time on my channel. So those are the two sales on Wednesday. All right. So let's see what we've got left for the speed round. Um, I have got the keychain that has this tool. I believe it's an Allen wrench that is on the tool. 
Uh, this is one dollar number ten. One dollar number ten for the key ring tool. Let's see, I got that one. Then we've got, and oh, Denise is going to take that one. Thank you, Denise. Okay. Then we've got, I think her is over here. Okay. Then we have the wood button doll. So she has a little hanger. She hangs up. She's got little buttons for her rosy cheeks. Her arms move. She's got little buttons and then a little spool of thread little button feet she's made in 1992 and she is three dollars number 33 three dollars number 33 then i have the personal alarm I have not tested this because it is super loud and I live in a condo and I don't want to scare my neighbors. So I have not tested this out, um, but everything is in here. It is complete. It's got this keychain, And then here is the, um, oops. Here is the device, and I think you just push that button, and it lets off a super, super loud alarm. And that one is $5, number 40. $5, number 40 for the personal alarm. And Sharon is going to take that one. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I would imagine it's loud. Loud. So yeah, I don't want to I don't want to scare the you know what out of my neighbors <laughs> by setting that off. Uh yes, Denise, I saw you for number 10. Yes. I got that one. Um, all right. The pair of snuff bottles. This one might be vintage. I'm not sure. This one is not. It is a newer made in China snuff bottle. It has a dragon design on it. This one is a double. So it has two bottles attached. It is a double snuff bottle. You are going to get both of them for $7, number 42. So $7, number 42. And yeah, I think, I think they're ceramic. This one I know is ceramic. So um, yeah, so $7, number 42 on that one. And then... There is um, the, the stone collection. So you're going to get all of the little stone chips. And if you want to go ahead and get them back into the bottles, you can. But you're going to get five glass bottles. Three of them have corks. Two do not. They do have labels on them. So you're going to get the five bottles, the little scoop, and all the stone chips. And that is $7, number 43. $7, number 43 for all of that. And there's a lot in here. So again, I'm going to try to show you. There is a lot in there. All right. So that is everything for me today. 
So if you think about those couple of items that are still left and you're interested in them, feel free to leave a comment down below or send me an email. Um, otherwise, hey guys, I will see you tomorrow for the double sale. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I'm just, oh, we've already got the patch where the sun has hit. It's already melted. So looking good out there. But everybody have a great day. I will see you 